Growing up in my house was interesting with rules I had to follow. As a kid, I lived with my mom and my grandma, and when my mom was away, my grandma told me what to do. She told me what chores I had to do. She would tell me how long I could watch TV and how much time I had to play outside. Basically, she ran the house. She was kind of like a judge. Just like she has her rules, judges have laws to listen to. They make decisions based on the laws that are in place and provide those decisions to others so that everything can work out okay. Right now, I want to talk to you about a famous person in history who was a great judge by the name of Thurgood Marshall. Have you ever heard of Thurgood Marshall? Well, if you haven't, that's okay because he was a lawyer and a judge. Not only was he a lawyer and a judge, but he was the first African-American to be named to the Supreme Court Justice in the United States of America. Thurgood Marshall was an inspiration to many minorities looking to go into the practice of law. Now, talking about his life, Thurgood Marshall was born on July 2nd, 1908 in Baltimore, Maryland. Like many African-Americans during this time in history, their lives were impacted by the practice of slavery in the United States. For example, Thurgood's grandfather was a slave. Although Thurgood's grandfather was a slave, he did escape slavery, making his way to the north and gaining his freedom. As for Thurgood's parents, his mother was a teacher and his father was a steward at a country club there in Baltimore, Maryland. Although Thurgood's father worked at a country club, he loved to go downtown and listen to court cases because he loved the law. When he was not working, he'd hang out down there and take Thurgood. This is where Thurgood Marshall got interested in the law and started to go into that direction from there. During that time, schools were not like they are now. Thurgood wanted to go to the University of Maryland, but couldn't because they did not allow African Americans to attend school there. Seeing that he would be turned away, Thurgood attended Howard University to learn law, and he eventually passed the bar exam, which anyone who wanted to become a lawyer had to pass, and then Thurgood became an attorney. After becoming an attorney, Thurgood moved back to Baltimore, Maryland, and helped another student who was just like him and got turned away by the University of Maryland. He fought for that student and eventually won the case, and that stopped the University of Maryland from not allowing African Americans to attend their school. Another organization he helped was the National Association for the Advancement of Colored People, or you may have heard of the NAACP. Thurgood became the chief counsel for the NAACP, which meant that he was their go-to lawyer. Think of him in law like Michael Jordan or LeBron James to basketball. He was the man when it came to court cases. Thurgood would help to fight cases where African Americans were mistreated or wrongly accused and discriminated against. As a matter of fact, just like LeBron is the king and Michael Jordan is MJ, Thurgood had a nickname too. They called him Mr. Civil Rights. One of the best parts of his career was in 1954 where he worked on a case called Brown versus the Board of Education. At that time, schools were stopping kids from being together and separating them based on the color of their skin. Thurgood argued that the Constitution did not allow this and won the case, changing the school system in the United States. He was later appointed to the United States Court of Appeals by President John F. Kennedy as a judge and kept going from there, doing big things in the world of law. And he was finally recognized by President Lyndon Johnson, who named him to be the first African-American to be on the Supreme Court. Marshall died on January 24th in 1993 but not without leaving a legacy of fighting for the rights of equality for all men and women in the United States. It just goes to show a dad's love of the law influenced a son, which influenced change in the United States.